And welcome to a new episode of Physical Media Format here on the Movie Dogs channel. Alright folks, we're coming close to the end of our journey. Only a few more episodes remain here on Physical Media Format. And I'm going to start off this long winding road, or the end of this long winding road, with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Now, uh, by the time... Uh, I'm filming this just yesterday or the day before Warner Brothers announced they're going to be making more Rings movies. Bad decision. <clears throat> Excuse me. But folks, as always, we are cherished with the memories of this wonderful fellowship of movies that we got 20 years ago, which is hard to believe. I remember the super trailer being played in back in 2000. And it was, it just blew me away. And I was a fan of the animated films, which I showcased on this channel as well. Um, the VHSs. Um, so we're going to talk about the VHS versions of Lord of the Rings. Um, I almost forgot that, you know, they were around long enough to where, you know, VHSs were still a thing. So it, it's kind of weird. But um, we're going to take a quick glimpse. And uh, we're going to, of course, start with the beginning of the journey. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. So you can see possibly one of the best ensemble casts in the last 20 years in film. You've got the great, absolutely great Ian McKellen as Gandalf the Grey. Kate Blanchett as Grandel, if I'm saying it right now. Of course, Viggo Morrison, the beautiful Liv Tyler. You see Sean Astin, the other hobbits, Elijah Wood. Orlando Bloom, Gimli, and of course the Ring Wraiths here. It's the very. It's just, it would have been better if Drew Stretson got to draw the, the the posters. That would have been you know the icing on top of the cake for the whole trilogy. But you know back then you know they were starting to really push away the artists. Of course, this was a New Line Home Video. If you can see right there. By then, it was, uh, I think, already uh, owned by AOL Time Warner. Turner had already sold to Time Warner, and then AOL Time Warner merged with Time Warner. It was a big mess. But, uh, of course, The Real Magic, one of the best films of that year, and that it was. I mean, these all together won a lot of awards. Take a look at the side here. You see Elijah Wood, Action Adventure, of course, the title, Lord of the Rings. The old standard VHS logo. Of course, in the back, when they're in uh, Dwarf's Caves. I mean, really, this was just a landmark film. See great scenes from this film. A little damage there, of course. But it just these films are so fun. My kids love them, too. And I even got the books. Of course, by then, stickers were obsolete completely off all VHSs. They just went ahead and stamped them on there. Of course, we're going to go to The Two Towers, the second film of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Of course, you'll see a few of the characters are missing. Cannot remember her name for her, but uh, I always thought he should have picked her. But, you know, that's just me. <laughs> Nothing against Liv Tyler. But, of course, you know, another poster that could have been made amazingly by Drew Stritzen. You see both the towers. Right there. Here on the side this time, you got Gollum. And Gollum was very... Um, pretty much was introduced in this in this film. I mean, he, he was given glimpses here and there of Fellowship. But Andy Serkis, you know, proved that you can make... Uh, Oscar worthy performance, even though he didn't get nominated when he should have, an Oscar worthy performance when it came to a digital rendering characters. He put his life and soul into, you know, bringing Gollum to life. Of course, we'll look back here. Another picture of him as Gollum with Frodo in the back. And of course, Gandalf turning into Gandalf the White. Viggo Morrison. Really, the, the Battle of Helm's Deep was the most amazing battle you'll ever see on film. It's just amazing. Of course, each film kind of picks up for one another. Yes, this was a blockbuster rental, folks. Those who remember it back in the day, please remember to rewind. 
This label's broken. You're going to buy it, folks. <laughs> There's the stamp. Of course, when they're previously viewed, they'll get those stickers. Nowadays, you can't even get rid of them <laughs> unless they're unopened and being sold on um, heritage auction sites. And, of course, the triumph of them all, the final leg of the journey, the return of the king. Uh, if anybody who knows and was a fan of Clerks 2, which I was, there's a great rant that Randall gives about the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Do look it up and watch the movie, too. But, of course, the poster looks really cool. Almost looks very done in um, airbrush, almost, like Drew Stritzen style. Again, you know, I still think he would have been the perfect choice to make these posters. But a great film, great film. One best picture, best director, very worthy of it. Great conclusion. And you can see... Viggo Morrison gets to hold on to the uh, the side of the bill, and it's a double VHS because this was the final film was very long to begin with, and of course there's the extended cuts that came out on DVD that takes up two DVDs that I still think you can put the extended cuts onto one disc. I know that you can, but they don't. But anyway, you can see that beautiful film. Of course. Another great shot of buildings that never really existed, folks. I mean, Peter Jackson's wizardry and his people and his crew of digital artists just did such a magical job. And again, a wonderful conclusion. And of course, this had like the behind the scenes of the trilogy and the super trailer. You know, you can see there the super trailer, which the only trailer you need really, folks, these these. If you're ever going to watch Lord of the Rings trailer, check out the Super trailer. That is all you need to watch because it has everything and because these movies were all shot at the same time. I'll go into more detail about the making of these films one day. But, of course, Return of the King Part 1 and, of course, the uh, other tape Part 2. But, it's... Uh, VHS never long gone, but has gained popularity in the last few years, especially those you lucky enough to find they're unopened. I've myself been lucky to find a few gems unopened, and just to find some of them for the show is was worth the while, folks. All right, folks, what is your favorite memory of the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Did you see it on VHS for the first time? Did you actually go and follow the Fellowship all three years of these films releases? You know, from 2001, 2002, 2003, Christmas time, folks. Everybody was there in December to see these films, um, as was I. And I, memories that I'll cherish forever. But again, tell me your memories on the comment section down below. And don't forget, hit that like button. Let's get these uh, likes up real good, folks. I'm going to try to at least get 20 likes out of this video. How about that? The show's almost over, folks. And you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I don't need to say any more, folks. All right. Well, folks, that's physical media format here on the Movie Dog Show. Thanks for watching. Please keep on watching. One ring to rule them all.